today we're on Curtison Pass and today we're going to go and do uh, Red Squeeze and then we're going to go on to Dove Crag. Morning. Well, another early start, another before sunrise drive and trek. And I've just parked on Kirkston Pass and today just halfway up it's in red squeeze. You can probably see I've got the car which is there and the only the vehicle is a camper van which is there. So another fine dry morning by the looks of it. So we shall see. Excuse the hair again. Monday, it'll be getting cut. So, just carry on up here. I'll check in with you guys when we get to the top. But as I say, just ascending, doing red squeeze to start with. And then, toddling on, we'll do Dove Crag. That's a couple of other little peaks in between. So, allow me to get my lungs expanded while we're trying to send this first incline. See you guys shortly. Oh, here comes the sunrise. Just see the peaks of Froswick and Hill Bell over there. Um, High Street over there beyond is where we're going to see the sun shortly. Just pan around for you a bit. You can see Windermere down in the distance. There's a few ravens knocking around as well, nesting in the rocks, making a racket and watching what I'm doing. Right, onwards and upwards, so we can get any more height, so we can catch that sunrise a bit better. Right, can get proper introductions out of the way now. Just have to try and bomb up here to get this sunset before it came above the peaks. And as you can see, ooh, it's worth it. <laughs> worth steaming up here at a good rate of knots to get that in. Yeah, gorgeous. See that there? So I've got a nice time lapse to try and get some pictures now of light rays and stuff coming through. Oh, that was there. Uh, bit of an ascent to get up here so fast. Alright, summit of red squeeze. Calm, wind wise. Wind me. Oh. High street, the cloud blowing over it, and some coming behind it. Brothers Water. St. Sunday Crag. Fairfield. Of peaks for snow on this morning as well. Lovely. Well worth the climb.
check in. We're um, just on a bit squeeze onto Middle Dodd now. As you can tell, let's put the old hat on because my ears were getting cold. Oh, let's have a look where we're heading. Just heading down the, the ridge line here. Oh, and there's Middle Dodd. And you can likely see Brothers Water out in the distance. I've done that before where I've gone Brothers Water up the ridge in the dark, funnily enough. And then ascended in Dun Fairfield and St. Sunday Crag. I've done another video on that if you want to watch. A video you guys when I've got down to the summit. See you in a bit. Sorry for the glint in sun by the way. Right, done. Um, next we need to cross Scandale Pass, which after ascending a little bit back there is all downhill, thankfully. So I'll probably get a bit of a jog on. Get the heart rate up and then off up to Dove Crag, which is over there. Whew. I just realised red squeeze and you don't realise the ascent from the pass where we started which is way down there red squeeze really does jut up you can see the cairn on the top it's not until you sort of get it in pers into perspective you realise how big these peaks are so but I've got some drone footage before so I'll whack that in Right, we're almost at um, Scandale Pass now, which runs from Brothers Water through the pass and down the other side. Not sure what's on the other side, I'll tell you shortly. I'll put it down here. Oh. Um, shortly after that, ooh, this is a bit of a boggy bit. Scandale Tarn follows that. And then we've got Hart Crag, which we need to bypass shortly after. As you can see, we're now in the sun, because it's risen, above uh, red squeeze. So, we're plodding on, turning out to be a really nice clear day. That's, um, that's Hart Crag, above over there shortly. Yeah, nice and still day. I do think it's going to be according to the forecast anyway. Minus 10 with wind chill. I don't think it's actually nowhere near that. Well, not here anyway, but we're a bit lower down. Slippy slide on here. for a second have a bit of a chill the lovely view of Windermere in the background if I'm not obscuring it that is so as always to those that are watching <laughs> if anybody's watching um, I'd appreciate it subscribe I do try and put videos on as often as I can generally about once a month as I say but if not just bob us a like hit the like button pictures and the um, videos post on Instagram as well so if you want to give us a follow there I'd be really really grateful just spurs me on I suppose to um, make more content put more videos on
that is for miles. Let's go up hike from here, over there. Conny Snowman, over there. All right, another magic hat swap. Come from this, <laughs> the warm one, because me is we're going to drop off to have it none. It was too warm. So now it being too sunny. So I'll swap it out to the baseball cap. So if you're watching, just let us know in the comments below if what I'm doing is what you want to see. If there's something you'd like me to add in or take out, do more or less of. I'm open to uh, accommodate anybody's requests within reason, obviously, because it is my vlog after all. <laughs> but if you think they're too long, too short, they don't talk enough, don't describe the route enough, by all means, let me know. I'll tweak them slightly. Because it can only help to retain viewers or get more viewers, I suppose. Right, we're not far left off crag now. A uh, fairly flat bit. But I'll put the little bit in the bottom of the corner so you can see whereabouts lay a view ranger that we are. Right, see you anymore. Alright, here we are. Top of Dove Crag. Weirdly, I can smell the sea. Smell the sea air. Like a plunk, I've just come obviously down from Duff Crag onto this side here. There's a little ridge that I thought was a little heart crag. So I've got to the other side and I'm thinking, it can't be it, it's a bit tiny. So it carries on plodding up about 10 metres high. Head can see then over the top, a little heart crag is over here. Kind of looks like a mini pie can stick all this. Not the shape of it. But it's kind of dome like. Good, get the drone out again, move it up there, see what footage we can get. Start hearing and seeing more people now. Hear voices in the distance, people speaking to each other. It's beneficial to come out first thing in the morning, maybe a couple of hours on your own, be some quiet, don't see or hear anybody, usually.
Alright, this is us coming down off a little heart crag now. The ridge leads down to, as you can see in the distance there, Brothers Water. Oh, sorry if the camera's a bit shaky because I'm walking at the same time. Yeah, so it leads down to Brothers Water and you've got hearts up in the distance. So we're just going to ascend the ridge, sorry, descend the ridge, um, back down to the road and then well maybe not follow the road but there's a footpath that follows the route of the road back up the pass to the car the waiting little brum brum so i got a video before of um that ridge over there reading leading down from red screes with some people toddling across the ridge of it so i'll stick that in the video <laughs> And they just look like ants, they really do. So, down we go. And then as soon as you get somewhere with another view, I shall share it with you and let you know. See you tomorrow. Oh. Hi again. We've just ascended down from High Hearts of Dodd. I think that's how you say it. Um, just ended up down the bottom here and just stopped for five minutes. Just have a bit of a chill. Feel my feet kill coming down hills. Put my poles away because I don't need them now. We're on the flat bits. A nice little barn there. And I might get some footage in because I saw the fighter jets flying through the uh, Kirkston Pass valley before. Just caught them right at the last minute as we were down over Brothers Water. But they were that quick going down the pass that I had to quick draw my phone out of my pocket to get them in. So now we are sending back up Kirkston Pass. So there's a footpath that runs along the side of here, and then it's a bit of a steep incline, but we should be right. We should be right. Back to the car shortly. I'll see you more. Need a more. Yeah, you don't really want to know how deep that went. 
literally can't beat. That was ridiculous. Look at that. All the way past the top of my boots. Oh, luckily, I'm swift of foot, so <laughs> I managed to whip it out as quick as it went in. Good as new. Look at that. That, my friends, is why it pays to wear boots and not trainers. Oh, torturous. Ah, it's <laughs> he's legs are knackered, that's why. Third of the way up Kirkston Pass. Let's crack on, more to do yet. Can we be that far off the top? Does it look it? Give us a like if you like my enthusiasm. I don't like to do this sometimes. Oh, oh dear. Feel sorry for me. Give it a subscribe. <laughs> oh jeez. Guys, I think I made it. I think I'm finding it at the top because see civilization. Oh. Hey. That was a slog. It's the longest, longest incline I've ever been up in my life, I think. Oh. Alright. We're near the back of the car now. I'm a little bit red because it's turned out really, really warm. On the way up there, loads of pieces of plastic that I picked up. A condition, yeah, conditioner bottle, a glass bottle, carrier bag. Another piece of plastic. So, that'll do the right thing and uh, pick them up and dispose of them. So that's this video over, again put the link in the description below so you can follow it, be on View Ranger, all the interesting points I'll put as little screenshots in the corner so you know where I was up to at that particular point. Yeah if you like this video just have a look at my others, probably subscribe there, click a like and uh, I'll post more as and when I do them. So for this walk, cheers for watching. We'll see you next time guys. Have fun. Bye.